And Representative Schakowsky, our last topic, I've got to ask you, of course, uh, are you considering a run for the Senate in Illinois uh, coming I, up I, in 2010? I, you know, I'm, I'm taking a very, very um, careful uh, look at this and um, actually may, uh, may make that run and have set for myself an arbitrary uh, deadline of, uh, of June 8th where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a, a decision and um, you know, I, I feel confident um, actually that if I ran, I could won, I could win. H here we are, though, at this incredibly um, opportune moment to really make big change, big change moment in our in our country. And so I have to decide if I want to spend the next uh, 18 months basically raising money. You know what I mean? Yes. I Rather do. than I'm on the uh, Energy and Commerce Committee, Health Care, Energy. I'm on the Intelligence Committee. I'm in the leadership of the House. So I have to weigh all that. Clearly being in the Senate um, would give me a, a, an even larger opportunity to move an agenda. But this is a, a bad time to be sort of out of the, uh, the real decision-making. So I'm weighing it. Is there an, uh, an opponent that could get into the race or get out of the race that that would make a difference for you? Um, of course, I would look. I, of course, I would look at the, uh, the the competition. But we've we've done extensive polling that that looks real good, and now we're just really in the gut check phase. I have to, you know, figure out. It's a a personal decision that I have to make on how I want to uh, to spend the time. But so far, of the candidates that that I I know of, I think that uh, I could uh, I think I could win. Roland Burris, you don't consider to be competition, do you? I don't see how he can, uh, at this point, win a uh, win a primary. I mean, uh, the the numbers are speak very loudly to that, and 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 he's just uh, been embroiled in this toxic situation, and uh, it hasn't really gotten any better for him. And so I would say that's not. You know, I don't see him as being competitive in a Democratic primary. Is there a Republican in the state that could make a real run against a Democrat in Illinois? For for U.S. Senate, I no. And here's why I say that: we are Barack Obama's uh, home state, and um, having a Republican who would run against the Obama agenda is a loser in Illinois. It just uh, you know that you know for. Uh, uh, for our mostly blue state, I don't see how that could uh, how that could happen. You know, there are things. I suppose if uh, there, you know, or 2010 became a bad year because a lot of the hopes and dreams weren't weren't realized. But even then, I think that there's um, going to be um, a distaste for somebody who's part of the just say no group um, as a candidate for uh, U.S. Senate. Right. Well, that does improve the chances of uh, of a, obviously a Democrat winning that seat. Um, Roland Burris doesn't seem to be a possibility, so it makes it a little hard to resist. Yeah, I know. It, <laughs> there, it certainly is. It's very, very tempting. So I'm trying to look at this whole thing with a very uh, cool and calculating eye. <laughs> all right. Anyway, I love my job, so it's not. Uh, you know, it's all good. All right, Representative Schakowsky from uh, Illinois' 9th District, we wish you luck in that decision. And it's on June 8th. That's coming up around the corner, so we hope to hear from you soon on that. Thanks so much. All right.